All right, so we're going to do a, a NUC system, Intel version, Mini PC kit. This is the uh, the model number is BXNUC 10i7FNH1. This is the 10th generation i7. Nice. We're going to install Windows 10, and we're going to install a Samsung 500 gig SSD. and a 16 gig RAM DDR4 alright let's get on to it This screw is for the M.2 SSD usually. We'll see what these screws are for later. And a FSB branded power supply. Where it comes with a US plug, not a AU plug, even though this is an Australian version. That's really strange. Sticker. And some manuals. And a plate. This is to mount on a wall somewhere. Good to have. Or maybe behind a monitor. This amount. Which I won't be using in this case. Alright, so I won't be using any of these. Put the sticker on later. So this is the baby. Let's have a look. So power, HDMI, network, to USB and a Thunderbolt. Connection, Kensington lock, card reader, type C, USB 3 headphone microphone jack, and the power buttons. Alright, let's open it up and see what we can do. Looks like screws don't come out. This is the SSD connector here. There's a ribbon cable here, you have to be really careful. Just, if I show them right, you lift it up and it should just slide out, just like that. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and just before we do some of the installations, let's have a peek on the inside. So we can see M.2280 connection is here. So you got front panel hmm, connection. No idea. DDR4. It's a multi layered motherboard, definitely. The CPU is hiding underneath. That's the heatsink for the CPU. So if it faces up, the heat is always going up. Yeah, okay. So there's a cover here. I assume it comes off. Shall I do it? I'm not going to. Maybe there's a screw on the other side. No point in damaging it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Very simple. Put the RAM in first. Okay, that's done. Now the SSD. And 
this will simply slide it. Perfect. And we need screws for the sides. Hey buddy. Hey, uh, I'll show you a computer. Yeah. I need to clean it up and put windows in it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, did you did you wanna keep your files, programs, and things like that? No. Just do a new fresh window test. I can do it for ninety. Ninety. Mm. That's pretty good. And then yeah. the Windows Ten will be on there. Even Windows Ten, yeah. Except the uh, Microsoft Office, which you will need to put on. You know oh. the Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Yeah, yeah. But if you already have that in your current system. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or we download a free version, like uh, LibreOffice, it's compatible with Office, right. yeah, and then we can later buy Office if we want. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, have you got a, I don't know, do you have a kid, do you have a child? A what? Do you have a child? No. Oh, okay, if, they, if they're going to school, you know, they can get Office for free if they have a, oh, no, yeah, no, okay. No, I'm That's studying, but I'm going to do Oh, you've got an email address, .edu .au? Yeah. You, you do? Then you're eligible for free. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you got a .edu.au email, like ending, yeah, yeah. then you're eligible for Microsoft Office 365, all the package. For free? Yeah. Wow. So yeah. you go to the Office? Uh, I can show you the website. It's office.com. There's a section for education purposes. Oh, okay. So they give it to you for free. So when you go to workplace, you yeah. are ready and you purchase the software. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Thanks, you're welcome. I'll bring it in. Thank day. you. No problem. I'm assuming this is the screw. Okay, that part in. Nice. The sound is coming from the screws. So, front, that's the front. And so, just make sure you get these ribbon connections correct so you pull that lever up as you can see down to lock pull to unlock and simply slide it in slide it in push it down You don't want to damage this cable, it carries both data and power. And simply put the screws back in. Very light. Now, let's power up the unit. And we'll connect the keyboard and a mouse. Let's make it ugly. Put one in the front, one in the back. And we'll need a HDMI. And this will be Windows 10, 
and I'm going to boot from a UEFI enabled USB. I'm going to use the license that is in here. Simple. And get the power cord for this. Okay, the moment of truth, here we go, power, blue light on, let's have a look at our screen, nothing yet, that is not a good sign. Still yellow light. There is a fan in there spinning. Okay, that's good. And it may start the Windows 10 installation automatically. Boot device has not been detected. Okay, let's go into the BIOS. So let's go into pressing delete and F2 keys. Let's go into the BIOS. See if it has detected the USB. I suspect this USB is faulty. I'm going to swap over to another USB. Okay, done. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Turbo 4.7 non-turbo 1.6, 12 meg cache, 16 gig RAM, beautiful. Alright, let's go into, what about cooling? Fan speed, 1600 RPM, 41 degrees. Alright, let's reboot, enable, that's good, that's what I want. Okay, I'm going to reboot the computer. I'm assuming my USB was faulty, so we should get a automatic boot of the USB. I'm going to reformat that USB that didn't work. Yeah, as you can see, it puts automatically with the correct USB in there. Nowadays, you don't want to do CSM or legacy boot. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.